Hi, this is Laura GP and welcome to part two in my Power Platform Solutions and Power BI series. In part one, we added our data set and report to the solution. So let's move over to that solution. And what we're going to do in this video is we're going to add a dashboard. So here I am inside my solution and we can see my two parts down the bottom there, my expenses and expenses dash data set and expenses report. So we're going to go to add a new and in here we're going to go for dashboard and we're going to go for Power BI embedded. And that loads a panel over here on the right hand side. So I am going to call it the expenses dashboard. And we are then going to pick our report. And if I look in here, it lists my report that's in this that's in this environment only. That works. And then we're going to click save. Give it a moment. And there we are. At the bottom here, we have our expenses dashboard. The next bar is to go to our app, our model-driven app, and to add that dashboard. So what we're going to do is we are going to click on add a page, going to make it a dashboard, then I click next and I scroll down the bottom here and I'm going to pick expenses dashboard and I'm going to click and I'm going to keep the show in navigation and I'm then going to click add. And there we go. Upload our report. OK. So happy with that. That, can, that That's going to go through. It's not filtered or anything. It's just for the whole part. And then I am going to click save. And publish. If we then go for play, there is the, as we had before, and underneath here, and obviously I've not laid this out as, as tidily as you possibly would put expenses dashboard somewhere else. But there we go. We've got our expenses dashboard inside our app. So let's go to account. It's a live report. So that was 1.7K. So what we're going to do is we're going to come into, into here and I'm going to go to my expenses and we're going to click into here we're going to add a new expense what should we do let's 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 do a hotel so let's do a client workshop and obviously for client workshop let's put the date in to be in may let's do it last week and let's put in the expense type as as there let's put let's put in 300 and let's go save and close to so put those in there now it's going to have a look at our expense dashboard and there we go our total expenses has become 2k so that was adding a dashboard into a model driven app from the data set and report that we added in part one the next video will be putting it inside a form. So press subscribe to be notified of when that video comes out. I'm Lord GB. Take care now.